Hi, welcome. This is another video to do with uh, Google Classroom and Band Labs. Um, in this one, I'm looking at submitting work. So a student has either completed a teacher assignment and they've submitted that and it's all good, or they're looking at submitting a personal project um, to the teacher in the um, Band Labs assignment task. So let's hop over to the Google Classroom where I've just sent my um, Classroom of Awesome a, an assignment. So let's have a walk through some of this stuff. So here we go, we've got um, our classroom and I've sent the class or this test class a um, an assignment. So let's go to classwork and here we've got the task and then we've got the link. Okay, so uh, once you've got it all set up and you've checked out my other video, students can connect up easy. This is how quickly it does once you've got all the passwords saved. So I click on the link and you go straight into the student account and you're at that particular task. Okay, um, if a student's going back and they're going via the other way, if I go back to the classroom, students will see a task, they can go in and they can start the assignment and those things. Okay, so they've gotten to here and they want to start a task. So let's go in. You've got two options at this point. Let's start off with the first one. So teach for assignment. When you click that one, it loads. You go into the mixer. Okay, so let's go to browse loops. Let's just pick any old loop. And we'll grab a loop, bring that in. So they started assignment and away they're going. They've got something there, it can now be saved. So let's exit this one. I'll save that. Just waiting for it to do its thing. Okay, that's saved. Okay, and they're back into the main area where the task is. So they can click on here and view the assignment and they'll go back to the mixer. Okay, so let's go back in there. They're back here. That task of where it is um, at the moment is where it is. So they can't pick their personal project at this point in time. So what they can do if they realise, oh, I want to submit something else I've been working on, you can restart assignments, you can rename it, or you can click submit if that's the end of it and they wanted to use that one. So let's restart this assignment. So I'm now back to the beginning. I can click Start Assignment. Okay, before I click on Personal Assignment, I'm going to go into my personal area. Here I've got a song that I've been working on. So let's go to the mixer. Let's just check it's ready. Tell me something, girl. So there's a file, I've got a piano track, a vocal track um, that I've been working on um, and that's in my personal area. So let's go back to the library and I want to be able to submit that. So let's go back, go into the classroom, start the assignment, but this time instead of clicking teach for assignment, let's per click personal project and you'll see a list of the personal projects that you can select from. So let's select that one, click next. And now you can see I've got the save button up here and I've got the submit button this time. So now this personal project I've done is ready to submit um, to that task. So let's click submit. I can add a message to the teacher. And that's submitted. Just got to wait for it to process. So, there we go, just been submitted. Okay, so from the teacher's perspective, they'll be able to go back in there and see that this has been submitted. They can return it back to the student. They can leave a comment there as well. So, hopefully um, that's been of help. And, yeah, any questions, feel free to ask. And hopefully you'll be get lots of submissions or students will be able to submit lots of work now um, for anything they need to do. Thanks again.